Hi, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today I want to talk about an activity that grandparents can do with their grandchildren, and that is cooking. Kids love to cook. It's something that's so easy. They put a few ingredients together, they mix them up, they put them in the oven or on top of the stove, and in a very short amount of time, they've created something amazing. And it's especially fun if grandkids and grandparents get together and concoct cookies or all different kinds of things to make from their kitchen. It's also an opportunity for grandparents to teach them how all different things come together. They sequence together and you can make something delicious. And it's also an opportunity to teach your grandchildren about fractions. I actually was good at fractions because I loved to cook and bake growing up and I really loved learning a lot of things from my grandmothers as well. I want to tell you about Violet Favreau. She is a, a grandmother from Florida. She's Greek, and Greeks women are powerful. They're powerful matriarchs, and they love their children and their grandchildren. And Violet is no exception. At different holiday times, she loves to gather her grandchildren together and have all different kinds of cooking extravaganzas. Every Sunday, as a tradition in their home, she cooks a big Greek dinner. She gets her kids involved, she gets her grandchildren involved, and it's been such an amazing um, tradition in their family that she has now written three books and six more in the making, and the one is sun Sunday Dinner at Silly Yaya's. Yaya is a Greek name meaning grandmother. And so what she does is she posts every week the menu of everything that they're going to have. She encourages the grandchildren to come early so that they can help her. And from that, she has formed an, an amazing and an incredible bond with her grandchildren. And she's passing down her love of cooking to another generation. She said at Christmas time, what they do is they have, it's called Silly Yaya's Christmas Cooking and Crafting Extravaganza all of her grandchildren, and she says any strays in the neighborhood that they want to bring, they come over and they spend the entire day cooking and baking and crafting. They make all different kinds of Christmas cookies. They do uh, different types of um, cooking on top of the stove, and they make all different kinds of crafts. They take a bunch of pictures to memorialize their fun together. And she says this has been going on for years. <clears throat> And it's been, it's a very important tradition. So it's not only becomes a tradition, but it's also an opportunity for her to be together and to form this bond, this tight bond with her grandchildren. Think about different ways that you can incorporate cooking and baking and fun with your grandchildren during this holiday season. Think about certain types of foods that have been really important in your family and that you want your children and grandchildren to also know how to make or bake. Then bring them over and on a consistent basis, begin cooking and baking with, it, with your grandchildren and forming this wonderful relationship with them. The quote that I want to leave you with is from Lexi Sage, and she says, Sometimes our grandmas and grandpas are grand angels. Violet is certainly one of those grand angels to her grandchildren. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow. And one other thing, you can go on my blog, and I've written all different kinds of things about that Violet does. And I'll leave the, uh, the link at the end of, in the description. Thank you.